Hi everybody, welcome back. In today's Saturday Sculpture, we are going to be working with the most amazing pigments from Just Paint, which is Petra Youngblood. And I just adore this colour combination. It's inspired me to come back and maybe do a geo style one. Anyway, within the resin that's been poured, and for this project it is Mastercast one to one, I've added the sparkle white. All the rest of the colours are just mixed neat and uh, I've got them split into two different um, cups for each colour. So one to the left, one to the right for both of my layers. And yeah, I just loved going on the journey with this. I love the end result. And this is another one where the substrate that I'm working on, which is the uh, holographic, or should I say iridescent window film, the back comes off this and it leaves you a slight sticky um, um inside so you can add your glitter if you really enjoy sparkle and want to add that to your project so if you're new to my channel and this is the first video you've seen where have you been but also welcome i am not going into too much detail with the step by steps on this because i have got plenty of videos that are tutorial ones so have a little look back on my cat in my catalog for people that are ongoing supporters yeah Thank you so much for your support. I really do value each and every person that takes, whether it be one minute or watch the full video, who likes, who gives me a little tick and leaves a comment because that is a great way of feeding back to me and encouraging me and inspiring me to keep going. Uh, yeah, so I just want to say a sincere thank you to each and every member as well for taking that leap of faith. Now within this one, it was a straightforward sculpture I did two halves I tried to mix up the style a little bit and I actually mixed up living on the edge I know uh, instead of just having the clear white table scatterings I added a little bit of the amethyst and a little bit of green and made my own little mixture um, I now feel I've got the balance right because it doesn't look too tacky but it does I think add value to the sculpture but you decide let me know does it add value to you now with the iridescent window film and I pull the back off and add the glitter you still do get to see that iridescent coming through depending on the light and I think that just adds a lot of quality to it I'm quite enjoying this style sculpture it's very similar to the yellow one that I did last week and this one you could definitely use as a candle holder but You'd have to put maybe a label on that with your box, which is please don't leave your candle unattended in this because um, it, it could get hot. And even though you could use heat resistant one, you just gotta be careful when you're doing resin sculptures because it is plastic. And uh, anything that is gonna be a naked flame near it is gonna cause it to either melt or discolor, anything like that. So you do have to think safety. Anyway, that's enough of that so i might put a little bit of dodgy fm on i'm super excited because my wedding to vegas is getting nearer and yeah so it's a busy world my world now i am going to be mixing up by having a frayer painting so you're going to see a little bit more of brushworks being added to my channel because that's where my passion is and i want to make sure i'm balancing it out to protect the old lungs from working with resin all the time uh yeah so if you're interested in some of my brushwork come and have a look at my sat uh, frayer paintings saturdays and my sculptures and apologies i didn't go live on sunday that's just gone i had a date night with my fella which was amazing and we were going through all the wedding stuff so you've got to forgive me for that Anyway, weather's turning quite cool where we are now, uh, down in uh, Southampton in the UK. What's it like wherever you are? Uh, let me know what you think to this colour scheme. And also, if you've got any future colour requests, let me know. But that's enough of you hearing me digressing away. Uh, I don't think I'm going to add any more value by just chattering away. So I'll put some of Sharon's dodgy FM on. And hopefully you're watching this in the premiere with me. So if you are, why thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoy it and if you've not visited one of my premieres before it just means you get to interact with me or ask any questions or yeah just get to to know each other and it's a lot more interactive for you so if you've not attended a premiere look out for one anyway I will speak to you later hope you have a great week I hope you're safe and I hope wherever you are you're finding some time to be creative bye bye <laughs>